So guys, so we are in the process of taking off the flip kit and you know, we're waiting on the new flip kit to install the new one. But for now, we're just gonna take off the old one. And yeah. Okay, so I forgot to take a video of me, you know, taking off the old one. Well, right now on this side, I got everything off. I got the flip kit off. I got the leaf spring off. Um, this side, I just have the flip kit off. I still have the leaf spring on. You know, I have my diff held up by the, the jack. I have the whole truck held up by the jack stand. And, um, well, I'm thinking that instead of, you know, putting a flip kit and everything, because it's going to take a, a while for it to come in, I'm thinking of just, you know, putting on the, putting on some, some foilings instead. Right now. So for now, well, I took off the, the drop shackle and, cause, you know, they're pretty, like, old, nasty and rusty. So I'm going to sand them down and, um, and I'm going to just, I'm going to paint them, make the, make the frame look nice and pretty. Oh yeah, so to send them down, we're using 320, 320 grit um, sandpaper. I don't know if they come in different colors or if it's meant to be blue. Yeah. Okay, so um, so we got it. We got it. You know, sand it down. Um, I'm gonna paint the red just because you know I have this red caliper paint. It's all I got, you know. So I'm gonna paint the red. But yeah. So while we're at it, you know, painting the drop shackles, so I decided to paint, paint the, the drum brakes, you know, masking it off because, you know, I don't really want to get paint inside of it. Guys, so right now we're um, cleaning off the leaf springs to, to get ready, you know, just a quick little little spray with the rattle can, just, just so they could look nice and clean, you know, nothing big, nothing, nothing big. So we just pressure washed it. I forgot I took a video of me pressure washing. Hopefully I'll take a video of the next one. But right now we're just gonna air dry it. So we, we got the first coat on, we got it painted. Um, I used this one, the undercoating. Um, yeah, I kind of didn't like it because I don't know if you can see, but like it looks all thick and bumpy. I kind of want like a smooth finish to it. All right, guys, we we got one of the drop shackles painted. It looks nice and red. I like I like it. It looks pretty nice. Um, we still got the other one to paint, but I mean, look at the comparison of the red one, the plain one. You know, I feel like it's gonna look way better just because I'm probably gonna be driving my truck around like this for some time, and just to give it you know a little look to it. Probably gonna add a clear onto it. You know, just. So it could not ping, peel off the paint when I'm driving. Uh, I got my drum brake painted too. Well, oh, I got one side, so I got the other side of paint. And then I got my leaf spring painted. I got it painted black, just so you know, boy, just give it a cleaner look, you know. All right, guys. So I got one drop shackle, one leaf spring, and one drum brake already painted. I just took out the other drum brake, as you can see. Um, I have it over there, ready to start painting it. That's the other drop shackle and that's the other leaf spring. Those two painted, I'm probably gonna get them like a couple more coats though. I ended up getting forward waiting for the parts and um, ended up dropping my diff. Um, I, I covered the truck somewhat. I'm not sure if I did a good job. Um, I'm about to paint that, that crossbar, the shock relocation bar red, just cause you know, just for the fun of it, you know. Has something different when I do drive the truck around without the cab. Guys, I don't know what part these are. I just know they hold the, the shackles and the, I mean, not the shackles, they hold the, the leaf spring and the disc and the, the drop blocks and the flip kit. I don't know what it's called though, but we painted that too. So we got the we got the frame cleaned up. We got the red part that we already painted red. We got it covered. Got the truck covered, gas tank covered with a Molelo box, because you know, why not? Uh, we had, we wiped it down and we're just, we're about to start spraying. 
Um, so we only got to spray like that little corner right there. Um, we ran out of spray paint, so I'm gonna go to the store right now and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up some more spray paint. Probably pick up like one or two cans while, while I'm over there just so you know how to run out again. All right, guys, so we got the paint here. Um, I'm kind of hungry because I haven't eaten all day, so I'm gonna get some McDonald's and we'll, after I eat, we'll, we're gonna go and finish spraying the bed. We're here at McDonald's, but um, bro, they're taking forever just to take my order. I should have just gone inside low key. So guys, so we just we just finally, finally after a cool minute waiting, we just got our flip kit. This is the one goes right there under that, and this thing goes on top of the leash spring. Um, I came with these other parts. I have no idea where these go or where these go. Well, these go under, but I don't know where these go. But yeah, um, we're gonna we're gonna paint them red just cause, and we'll get ready to install them right now. We got the we got the whole frame nice and painted. Um, for me personally, it looks nice, especially since it's the first time I've ever done it. I don't know, maybe I messed up some parts. Some parts don't look good. Um, now it's just time to lift up the diff, connect the diff, and put the whole, whole flip kit and everything. We're, we're set. Then we'll just have to you know, fix the trans problem. All right, guys, so um, well, we got everything painted. Um, I'm just putting on the shocks right now so I can lift up the diff and then you know, put the shocks on from the bottom to kind of hold the diff up. Alright guys, as you can see, I'm using the, the, the cat, the, the, the jack, whatever it's called, to lift up the diff and bolt on the, the, the trucks. Okay guys, now I'm going to use this rope to tie the diff so it doesn't, you know, slip off for a jack because I think I'll tilt it and stuff. I went in, I just need to get the other one. So it's not too difficult. All right guys, so we got caught into work, so I came to work. And um, you know, we'll finish doing the, the, putting on all the parts of my truck. We'll finish putting that on once we get off of work. But for now, for that time, we Guys, so um, we're about to fix the, the drive shaft and the little transmission problem. But first, you know, gotta get the snacks, you know, doing some little runs, getting some, some things we need. And yeah. Guys, so we're out here in Staples, you know, my brother just said thank you to your service for, to some janitor. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, plus we're gonna get some business cards because, you know, he's um upcoming businessman right here. Upcoming business. We're just shooting tight. We're just shooting tight, upcoming businessman. Um, Porn star. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so what's up, bro? You fuck with the chairs or what? No. Pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. Alright, so we came to the mall. You no, know, before we fix um, before we finish fixing. Wait, wait, wait.
nothing. Yeah, I didn't see nothing, bro. Yeah, I didn't see nothing. Alright guys, so we're finally about to put the flip kit on. That's the homie right there. He's gonna he's gonna help me. Well he's gonna be taking video. And um you know it's kind of late right now, but I mean it is what it is. You know, we gotta get this done. We, we want the truck out and about. We want this truck to be out in the meets, you know. Gotta be active up here. Okay guys, so what we gotta install is this this is the, the flip kit. You gotta put this under the diff. This one goes under the leaf springs. And then this one we're not gonna install this one because we don't have the right the right um the right u-bolts for them because these don't take the the, the round u-bolts so that's what i have right now i have the round u-bolts but for this you need the the squared ones because this part goes right here and the squared u-bolts go right here but since i only have the round ones then i'm not gonna be able to use this part i'm just gonna have to put it like that so we'll use this one later once you know i get the actual squared u-bolts but for now we're just gonna have to go with these and you know it still works it's just you know it's better if you do it the right way This where you just, you know, you basically just slide it under. Just right here, it goes right here under. And then you gotta make sure, you gotta make sure that this hole lines up with this little button thing right there. Okay, lines up right there. Now I need to, I need to drop the diff. Originally, I had put this string on because I needed the the cat. I needed the jack for something else. So I had tied both sides with this string to hold up the the diff so it wouldn't be laying on the floor. Once you put these down here, make sure this one's flipped upside down. You put it upside down and you just you screw it on, you know? Okay, guys, so we're going to put No, pues por eso la amarra por si te cae. Yo no creo que se caiga. Alright guys, so also don't judge me on the way I'm installing it. This is the first time I ever installed a flip kit, so we're very learning out here. All right, guys. So as you can see, you know we got this side done. Now we just gotta gotta get the other side done. But this side is done. It was pretty quick, pretty fast. 
pretty easy too not that hard and now we're just we gotta do the last side and we're set all right guys so we got it done we got the flip kit installed as you see i got the flip kit installed we're gonna slap on the tires right now you know move all this stuff out of the way and uh we're gonna go test it out see if you know we did it right hopefully we don't stay stranded in the middle of the street All right, you guys, as you guys can see, you know, the truck is running great. We got the flip kit on. Everything's fine. It's running all great together. Um, nothing nothing seems to have gone wrong. All the bolts are good. The flip kit is installed good. Everything's fine. It's running great, as y'all saw. I was driving around with my homie because I didn't want to risk, you know, both driving alone, the truck getting, you know, messing up, the flip cup coming off or something, and me being stranded alone. So I got my homie to drive around with me and well, it was great, you know, it was a success. I installed everything right and she's running great again. As you guys saw, you know, my homie was a little bit of a showboat at that turn, but you know, that, that's what it is. That's what it's all about, you know? And uh, hopefully soon, the next step is just to put the bed back on and hopefully she'll be back to normal. Um, let's hope by sometime this week I could get that bed on. Wish us luck. Y'all, yeah, me and my homies, we just installed my new air intake. It's pushing 200 horsepower now. Yeah. Faster than that Lamborghinis. Yep, yep. It used to push 202. Yeah, it used to push 202. Now it's pushing 200. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh, verga! Verga, what the fuck? What the fuck? That's kind of cool. 